first thing we need to do is kind of, you know, figure out the terms and what is multivariate and what is univariate. So a lot of times we, we start with univariate statistics and univariate, um, you know, you have one dependent variable and one independent variable. And then of course in multivariate, there's a lot of different methods, but basically we live in a multivariate world, don't we? So a lot of times the binary, the, you know, the univariate statistics, they're a start, but they don't tell us all of the information that we need to know. Some examples of multivariate though, it doesn't always have to be, you know, um, you know, multivariate regression. I mean, sometimes you can use multivariate in a, even a relatively simple way as well. Um, you know, even using descriptive statistics, using graphs. Um, even if you're doing, not doing multivariate, you may have um, confounders, you may have effect modifiers. You may have other things where there's a, literally a third variable that's, that's getting in the way of your analysis. And so, you know, understanding these terms can be helpful. Then we can get into more complex things. In ANOVA, we can have things like interactions and main effects. We can do more advanced types of, um, you know, um, you know two-way or N-way ANOVAs, uh, ANCOVAs, MANOVAs. There's also um, multiple linear and logistic regression. And then finally, factor analysis. So when we're talking about multivariate, you can have Frequently, it's multiple independent variables, one dependent, multiple independent variables. There are some cases, um, you know, and the MANOVA is an example of that where you can actually have multiple dependent variables. Uh, you can also have intervening variables. And, and again, you know, why do we need to know this? Well, one of the reasons, you know, we, you add variables to your model is you may be trying to uh, explain a higher um, proportion of the variance. You know, how much of the dependent variable can you actually explain through these independent variables? Sometimes you're also using the multiple variables to, you know, just increase the reliability, you know, and literally the, the strength of your analysis as well. And there's some techniques um, for that as well. Just like with Univariate statistics, you need to understand the assumptions. And for the most part, the assumptions are pretty similar. Um, uh, normality or having a normal distribution is an assumption, um, you know, in, in virtually all of these, these types of tests. Uh, linearity, meaning that there's a linear relationship between these variables and among these variables. You, you want to look for and you don't want to have a lot of multi-collinearity. And what that means is that one variable is actually just a kind of a subset of another variable. So, you know, I can't get too cre creative here, but if, if I measure in my arm length and then I'm also measuring the length from my shoulder to my elbow, you know, those two, you know, are, there's probably a lot of collinearity in there that one is actually kind of a, as well a measure of the other. You can, can really get into some pronunciation issues, in, especially in multivariate. So let me try this word, heterodiscasticity. Did I say that right, Sarah? Have you encountered that word? It's a mouthful. <laughs> like but what it really, oh my goodness. Hetero, Discasticity. I think that's right. The graph on the on the upper right is is really a description of uh, of this heterodiscasticity, which what it means is you know when you normally have a, a normal linear relationship, it's kind of like a line. If you see on the the graph, you see how you know it starts out you know pretty. There's not a lot of variability in the data. And then the data starts spreading out. So the variance is actually unequal from one side of the line to the other. So again, if you're trying to do a linear regression and you have heterodiscasticity, you know, again, that can be a problem. You know, what do you need to do about that? You know, it really kind of depends on, you know, the techniques you're using, you know, and what, what you're trying to accomplish. But you need to be aware of some of those. There's some other terms like sphericity. That's, you know, especially when you're looking at multivariate 
So it's not a two-dimensional image anymore. It's a three-dimensional or, or a multi-dimensional image. And so it's looking at the, you know, how, you know, the shape of that sphere or the shape of the, of the data. Yeah, I'm not going to get into that. It's pretty complicated stuff. But you may run across those terms. And then finally, robustness. Just, you know, how robust is your data? Do you have a good, do you have enough, you know, you know, is your sample size large enough? Do you have enough of an effect size to really show some meaningful information? So that's what that's all about.